like this, which hopefully it's not getting caught by the green screen chroma key, but uh, basically this is a uh, sandstone 3D print of uh, like the city emoji, or at least the old city emoji. Um, this is another 3D print of uh, the egg in a pan. Um, this one has some weird stuff going on in it because there's like cracks in the back and you kind of see holes through it. Uh, that's because there uh, weren't uh, blocks touching each other. Uh, so like they were diagonal to each other. Uh, and if you do that, it, it tends to leave like weird holes in the print. These were printed through a website called Shapeways. Um, and on Shapeways, I have a sample actually. Um, you can print uh, in many different materials. So uh, there's this like rainbow colored one here that's sandstone. So it prints like a layer of uh, sand and then it prints on it with like a regular printer pretty much. There's different plastics. There's also metal. So I think I have stainless steel right here. Um, but you could also print in like brass. Uh, I have some ceramic somewhere. One of my friends made me made me my initials in ceramic at one point. Um, so there's lots of stuff you can do. Um, but uh, you would model in Minecraft, export to MC Edit. You could play around with the colors of blocks and stuff like that if you had issues. We were working on mobile at the time, so you had to do that. Uh, and then there was one last program that you would use called uh, uh, Mineways. So Mineways. Uh, is this website right here if you just want to take a look at it at some point on your own um, basically this is the primary way we're going to take uh, something that we modeled in Minecraft uh, and uh, turn it into something that we can either render so we can make it look even cooler than uh, shaders um, would make it look um, really start to play around with it or uh, go ahead and 3D print it um, and this is a sandstone print just like my print uh, uh, done uh, through Shapeways. Uh, but you don't need to use sandstone, you can also print on a regular printer. Um, that's what I'm going to show you in a minute. Uh, I intended to show you this with regards to the USB redesign. Um, oh, and you can't see my screen. I'll show it to you. Um, here you go. This is Mineways right here. So uh, this is the model in Minecraft. This is exported in uh, Mineways, what the exporting uh, screen looks like, which we'll see in a few minutes. Um, this is a render, so uh, rendering, just kind of making it look pretty, uh, better than shaders in some situations. Uh, 3D printing at Shapeways, and then, I don't know what Sketch5 is, I think that's just them sharing the 3D model. So, um, thank you for that. Uh, this is Mineways, this is the website. There's also MC Edit, um, MC Edit, um, and that, some of you may know, it's just a way for you to, like, edit uh, Minecraft worlds, or copy them, or paste things and do all that cool stuff that you kids do. Um, so uh, Mindways is what we're going to be using in a little bit. Um, what I will do now, though, is weirdly enough, hop into Minecraft. Uh, so uh, I'm going to hit play, and I'm going to go ahead and start up a, a single-player um, instance for at least right now. Um, I have a ton of mods. I have, like, server that I'm a part of so it's just loading all the mods for that you don't need any mods for this um, and what I've done prior to this uh, stream is I made it over, I made it a flat land just like I didn't feel like messing around with uh, a world uh, I also wanted to make it um, uh, peaceful and and do some other like quality of life adjustments um, I use the old Java launcher, um, uh, Minecraft launcher. I don't use like the, the Windows 10 installer or the App Store installer. Um, and I'm running on 1.15.2. And I'm using uh, Forge. Forge is like the, the main setup right now because I got so many mods in the background. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just using the basic Java launcher right off of mine, minecraft.com or .net, whatever it is these days. Um, so, uh, I'm going to go into single player. I've made a new world, um, and I am going to go ahead and play my world.
I'll wait for this to load. For some reason, it doesn't feel like loading right now. Maybe because I got too much stuff going on in the background. We don't need Kira right now. Discord's not doing anything. There we go. And you can do this with mobile. As long as you can access your uh, mobile world, like through iTunes or Android, if you plug it into your computer, um, the, the difference between doing it in, on the PC and doing it uh, on mobile is uh, you really need uh, MC Edit for mobile, at least in the past. I don't know what's going on. It's kind of like not having a good time just right now. Um, there we go. All right, yeah, I think I just got too much stuff going on because I'm recording stuff and uh, also uh, playing this game now. So let's just go ahead and see if I can go into options. I need chat to be for commands. Um, I'm going to turn that off in a second, though. Time set day. Um, I have some command blocks uh, for everything, but I guess donkeys um, removing everything because I just didn't feel like dealing with slimes and all that. Um, hidden, done. So I have these command blocks right here. Uh, what I should do real quick is hit uh, function F3 and turn on DevTools and see uh, where I am. So if you look down the list, it says chunk relative. And as I walk, uh, it's changing from uh, 11 to uh, zero. Uh, and that's just telling me my position. Now as I jump and go up, that second number is changing. And then if I go like left or right, that number is changing and going up or down. So it's telling me my position in the server. We don't like really need it, but it's just useful over time to know like, hey, like, Okay, this is 0, 5, 5, uh, and this is 11, 5, 5. Um, uh, and what I'll show you briefly um, is just how to model and then export this. I mean, I could just export these command blocks that are uh, removing everything for me right now, but uh, I'm not going to do that. Uh, what I will do is function F3, uh, and then let's grab something to model with. Um, now, I'm probably going to print this thing in white uh, PLA filament, so I'm just going to use smooth quartz. Um, and just as like a basic model, <laughs> uh, let's make a uh, 5 by 5 by, let's say 5, um, flower pot. Why not, right? Um, so 1, 2, 3, 3. Yeah, that little guy can go in there. And I'm probably not moving as fast as y'all would move, but I'm going at my own speed. And you can do this in survival if you want to. If you really feel like doing it, you can do this in survival. I'm just making it easier for myself. I could also print this in green, and I could consider this like a another version of the flower pot piranha plant tube not gonna go too crazy with this now one thing that i haven't shown you in minecraft is you can set the thickness of these blocks so uh, what i can do is i can tell uh, the program that i'm going to use to export this okay each one of these blocks has a certain thickness um, and you can make it so it's like one millimeter per block. I think default it's set to uh, one point something. Now, um, I, I don't know if this is going to work out all that great. But uh, this is like the start of some sort of uh, flower pot. I'm going to make it a one level lower. I'm going to put a little rim around it. Having a little fun doing this. And let's clean up this top. Do remember what I told you. If 
there is no block on the inside of this. So if I didn't leave this block right here, uh, we would get a very weird seam when we went to 3D print it. So um, we need that block there. Um, what I should be able to do now is um, quit. Um, now I could have also modeled this in the sky. Uh, sometimes that makes things nicer and easier for you. If like you start here uh, and then you like leave an air gap, right? Um, but I didn't do that um, because I have only one object that I'm exporting right now. Uh, that should be cool. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna hit escape here. Um, I'm gonna save and quit the title just so it actually like saves the world. Um, that's ideal for us right now. And I'm gonna go to my desktop here and I have my Minecraft folder. I made a shortcut to new world, but we shouldn't actually need it. Um, I use just the regular Minecraft launcher again, just vanilla, pretty much everything. Uh, we want to just use Mineways because we're not going for mobile. We don't need to use MC Edit. And I'm gonna go ahead and open up Mineways. Uh, this is what Mineways looks like. It's just this little window we got right here. Um, and what I should be able to do, what you should be able to do as well, is just go to Open World and it will tell you, if you're on Windows, hopefully, exactly like uh, what your world is. You don't need to do anything. If it doesn't, you can just hit Find Your World and you can look up how to find the world on your computer. But uh, now I have this world loaded um, and you can kind of sort of see uh, I have my actual little flower pot that I made. And there's my command block uh, row right there, kind of teleporting everybody away. Uh, and there's that little block with the air gap under it that I made. Now, we can only view from the top. You can only view uh, what your world's actually generated. So uh, it's not a bunch of chunks that have been generated. It's quite small right now because I haven't really gone anywhere. Um, we don't really care about the depth. Uh, we can just make it zero. We, we don't need to export any ground. Um, and for the height, what you'll start to see is... Um, we can actually start to trim down our flower pot. Um, catch you later, Dan. Take care. Have a good weekend. Um, so this right here looks like layer eight is our uh, top of our uh, flower pot. Now. I could bring this up and down. I think zero is probably fine for us. Um, if I'm not mistaken, in order to <clears throat> actually select our flower pot here, uh, I just use right click to select. Um, now I can uh, select a little bit bigger than it. I used to have to select a little bit bigger than it to make sure everything exported just right. Um, we'll see what we get uh, in a moment. Now, uh, once I have this selected, really hopefully easy from here on out, I can go to file and export for 3D printing. Now, um, I'm gonna go back to my desktop, go back to my quarantine folder, go to exports here. Uh, it's gonna tell you different files that you can export in. Uh, what you'll see is we have our, our friends here, uh, STL. Um, you can choose whatever you want. It really doesn't matter uh, right here. Um, at least I haven't had any issues with it. So if I just do the I materialize, that, that's worked for me in the past, I can hit save. Oh, and I do want to put a file name, um, flower pot. And what I should be able to do here, and it might give me an error and I'll show you how to fix that in a second, is tell it each block is gonna be a certain amount of millimeters uh, high. Uh, and there's just a cube, so uh, it'll, it'll make it length with height, this dimension here. Um, it'll also tell uh, the STL to be a certain size. Um, if you have printers that are super custom, you can do some settings there. Or if you were going to print this thing online and you wanted to say, hey, like I don't want to spend more than 30 bucks on my Eiffel Tower, you can set the cost right here and it'll scale everything uh, as best it can for you. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to tell it uh, 1.5 millimeters is probably actually cool. Um, I could do one, but let's just do 1.5. Um, and I'm just going to hit OK. Now it's telling me I have an error. 
let's see if I actually got an STL. Um, it looks like I did get an STL. Sometimes if that error pops up, you just need to tell it, at least on Windows, to get more export memory, and then you shouldn't see that um, error pop up again. Um, now what I can do is go into Cura, which you all should have on your laptops, um, and I can take this STL that I got and try to set it up for 3D printing. Um, easy peasy. There we go. Now it looks like I went down all the way to bedrock. I don't need that. So uh, I probably actually want to start around like two or four. I forget where it's going to be. I think it's two. So let's export for 3D printing again. Flower pot two, hit save. Hit OK, still having that like weird bug. It does it. That's still a little bit too high, so let's bring our depth up to five. Let's try it. And I may have just chopped off the bottom. And that's better, but I did chop off the bottom right there. So this, we do want to make, if I can get it to be four. And the fourth time is hopefully the charm. Hit OK. I did export, it's fine. And there we go. That's what I made in Minecraft. So. Um, now I could go through and slice it. I could set it up to 3D print. Uh, ideally, in the perfect world, hopefully it's correct that uh, that void space that I have down here is 1.5 millimeters uh, length width height because it's a cube. Um, so that's like the easy peasy way for you to model in Minecraft. Uh, there's not a lot to it. Um, and uh, yeah. That's it. Let's see what else I can show you real quick. Yeah, that's it.